So I know this looks like a chick flick, but it's totally not. I believe you, but it has all the symptoms of a chick flick. What do you mean? Well, I mean, it has a guy and a girl and they fall for each other. Are you getting soft on me, Mike? Yeah, you're right. Let's just watch sports, huh? I'm just messing with you. It's the premise of 90% of films. Okay, but I promise this is more original than that. Don't worry. We have the same taste in movies, so I trust you. So far, I like it. What? 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 Trish? You like Trish? Good for you, man. No, 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 not good for you. Mikey and Girl that's already put you in the friend zone is nothing but bad news. I know. I know the stigma, but she's really cool. And I like talking. That's fine, and you can keep it that way as friends. The moment you tell someone you like them more than that, the friendship is over. You don't know that. Anyway, I think she might like me, too. We talk on the phone, and she's always the one that calls me. We went to the mall the other day. We just tried on clothes. <laughs> The pussy whip is strong in this one. <laughs> you hear yourself, man. Not only has she friends on you, she basically means you're her gay friend that she goes shopping. We go to the movies and have lunch once a week. Shut up. She's not into me. Shannon. Intimate. Remember Shannon? Ooh, who's Shannon? Oh, glad you asked, Miles. Mike and Shannon were best friends. They talked to each other every day in high school. You remember her name? Yeah. That's what they did every fucking day. They even had little alerts to let each other know when they're online. <laughs> Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, Mike thought so too. So one day he decided to tell her that he loved her. Ooh, how'd that work out? <laughs> it's okay, man. It's okay. <laughs> how could you say that to me? Ouch. Look, tomorrow at the party, don't bring it up to her. If you value spending any time with her in the future, don't do it. We'll see. No tomatoes. you know? Did Robbie tell you? No, silly, I'm in your head. What? This is a dream. You're dreaming about me. Oh, well, if this is a dream, then... Don't even think about it. I wasn't even thinking that. I was just wondering, what should I say to you tomorrow? That's up to you. I don't know how you feel about me. How do you feel about me? We're friends. Yes, but could we be more than friends? Just ask me. What will you say? Trish! What will you say? Damn it, Trish! Trisha? Whoa, man. You really hung up on this chick, huh? Uh, <laughs> sorry, Miles. <laughs> no worries, man. Hey, I've got something I think can help you out. You should come by before the party. It isn't weed, is it? <laughs> what? No. No, why, why is everyone always saying Because you're a drug dealer. No, I'm an amateur pharmacist doing a public service. Yeah, I keep telling Plus, you. everything I sell is from the earth, so I'm better than those corporate guys selling chemicals to the public. Anyways, do you want my help or not? Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm on my way. Later. <laughs> Come in. Oh. Hey, dude. What's going on? Yeah. So, what are you up to? Oh, dude, um, I've been experimenting lately. I'm trying this new stuff out laced with laxative. Why? <laughs> People are needed certain things, man. Have you ever taken an amazing shit? All right, now take that amazing shit, mix that with an amazing high, and boom, euphoria. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, take your word for it, man. Choking on the world's largest tape, but not like this. We're dead. Dude, have you seen these guys? Uh, I can't say I have. What? Right. Oh, dude, okay. Alright. 
So this guy, he thinks he's black the whole time, and then he realizes he's not, and that he's adopted. <laughs> Classic. Cool. We're not gonna die. We just took a detour and plan. A detour that you caused. Me? You mean what I do? I didn't do nothing? Oh, really? So when I say duck, that doesn't mean so look for you. Said something that on the phone? Get your fat head out of the way so we won't get caught. There was a pond right next to us, Jake. Oh, yeah, um. Yeah, all right, um. No, dude, I have some weed for you that's gonna calm you and make you think clearly. I call it K-Bird. Dude, I said no drugs. Oh. What was I gonna tell you? I don't know, something about Trisha? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, um, yeah, all right. All right, so I was in your predicament a few years ago, man. Yeah, there's this chick who used to buy from me all the time, and over time we became close friends. I wanted to tell her how I felt about her, but I wasn't sure if she felt the same way. Plus I had dealer code to live by, so. Dealer code? Yeah, man. Rule number 23, never get in a relationship with one of your customers. Cause you never know if they're in it for you or your sweet, sweet ganja. So, what happened to her? I broke the code, man. And it was the greatest decision of my life. Dude, we did everything together. I, uh, I even traveled the world with her. Really? Yeah. Wow. I traveled the world with our minds. <laughs> uh, Sarah Reed was her name, but don't call her Tara Reed. She hates that. Mm. <laughs> what happened to her? Uh, she, uh, she ended up moving to D.C., got some government job working for the man. But I don't regret a second of it, though, so. You know, if I were you, I would... Uh, if you were me, what? Now I'm taking shit. Okay. Ooh. Hey, man, uh, there's someone at the door. Oh, yeah, man, it's the customer. Just, uh, just give him the bottle on the table. Uh, come in. Hey, Beth. Well, what are you doing here? Getting something to calm me. I've had a rough week. Where's Miles, by the way? He's, uh, preoccupied. You said you paid him already? Yeah, okay. So this week has been the worst. I went to the doctor's the other day for a checkup and some blood tests, and the doctor calls me back and says I have herpes. What? Yeah. Doesn't know if it's type 1 or type 2, though. Um... I can't really tell the difference between the two, but I've been trolling these herpes dating sites. Oh, they have those. Yeah, it's for other people who have herpes too, and then we can all meet up. It's called herpeshookup.com or herpes in harmony. It's a responsible thing to do. Well, at least you're that. Yeah. I have a date tonight before the party. Hope it goes well. Well, uh, good luck. Thanks. I'll see you tonight. Oh. And, uh, good luck with Trisha, by the way. Wait, what? Robbie told me. Damn it, Robbie! Hey, Miles. Yeah, man. You gave her the weed, right? Yeah. Hey, I think I'm gonna go. I'll see you at the party tonight. Cool, man.
Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh. Boom! <laughs> um, when you were at my place earlier, did you see my hybrid bottle? Uh, hybrid bottle? Yeah, I'm trying out this new stuff laced with adrenaline. Not <laughs> quite ready for public consumption, though. <laughs> I, I don't think so. Hey, can you guys give me a second? Uh, no, 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 you can't leave your boys hanging. All right, have you come to your senses? You're gonna leave that poor girl alone? Well, actually, I was just about to tell Oh, us. shit, it's Beth. Nobody move, nobody make eye contact with her. Her vision is based on movement. <laughs> You're a dick, Robbie. Hey, Beth! No, 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 come here! Hey, Beth. Hey, Beth. How are you? Glad you asked. My doctor called me today. Turns out I don't have herpes. Oh, no! Yeah, but he called me right after I already went on a date with the guy from the herpes website. It went really well. Luckily, I only gave him head. And I don't think he can get herpes that way, so, whoop! Dodged a bullet there. <laughs> Dude, I think Beth has mouth herpes. She totally does. And never mind that hoe. You're not gonna go through with this, right? Dude, as your friend, I want you to be happy. All right, and this ain't the way. I have seen too many guys go down this path and it always ends in pain. Listen, I appreciate your help, but you gotta let me make my own choices. What about you, anyway? What are you talking about? Ever since I've known you, you've never had a girlfriend. Why don't you ease up on fixing me and find yourself someone? Plenty of girls to choose from. <laughs> you these hoes? Dude, seriously. I... How about Rachel? <laughs> Dude, her thighs touch. What? Yeah. If a chick's thighs touch, that means she's got a skull oh. pussy. <laughs> Pepe Le Pew. Hmm? Hmm? Boop. Hmm. Pepe Le Pew. The skunk who tried to bang a cat. Everybody yeah, knows yeah, that. I know who Pepe Le Pew Dude, is. You gotta stay up on these things, man. I feel like we don't hang out enough. Funny, I was thinking the opposite. Oh, thank oh, you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. <sighs> So yeah, women that I like. <clears throat> One whose thighs don't touch mm -hmm. and who has good genes. She always check the parents, because if her parents are ugly, she will be in the future. I don't know where to start with that Dude, one. what is dating if it's not an audition for marriage? If you're not thinking about our future with them, then what's the point, right? Yeah, that makes sense, but, but you're going on a tangent. Oh, no, 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 everyone needs to know these things. Too many people settle or lock down someone without doing their research. Research? Yeah. Finding a good woman's like finding a good car. She may look good on the outside, but how's the engine run? Is she pretty when she's gonna run right? Will she hold up over time? This party is nothing more than a dealer's lot. She may look good on the lot, but what she'd be like when you bring her home. Wow, mm -hmm. it's genius, right? Not the word I'd use. Besides, I got a girl that I'm talking to already. Oh, really? Yeah. Text her a couple days ago. Days? Yeah, I texted her twice on her back. Have you tried calling her? No, man, you don't want to look desperate. Oh. The one who cares the most loses. God, haven't I taught you anything? Whatever. Uh, can I go talk to Trisha now? Fine, but you have to take a shot first. Because if this shit goes tits up, I don't want to babysit you the whole night. And she's so skinny and has one of those pixie cuts. I'm like, are you trying to look like a 13-year-old boy? Oh my God, strip clubs are so disgusting. I absolutely never want to go to one ever again. <laughs> <laughs> that is a really great story, Beth. Yeah, I think a guy over there called you cute, though. Oh, really? Was it the blonde guy? Yeah, you should go talk to him. I hope she doesn't give him mouth herpes. Dude, you gave her the hybrid bag, didn't you? I don't know, man. There was so much weed, I didn't know which one was hers. Dude, I said the one on the table. There were like 20 on the table. <laughs> Why would you make that? Yeah. Nah, wait, I don't want to I'm providing a service. Uh, you're providing a disservice. Whatever, <laughs> man. Hey, guys, I gotta go talk to someone. All right, Just remember what I said. You want to hold my hand while I walk over there? Oh, he's funny. Yeah, he's funny. One for good luck? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cheers. Here goes nothing. Down. Down. Ooh. 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 <sighs> he's gonna fuck it up. <clears throat> Maybe spill my train. Hi, you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you. Look, I really wanted to tell you something. Oh, I had something I wanted to tell you too. Really? Watch out! Huh? World Star! <laughs> what happened? Some guy sucker punched you. you take it like a champ, though, man. <laughs> I've never seen a guy get knocked out before. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's nothing. 
I can take a punch. <laughs> yeah, you can. So, you were gonna tell me something before we were so rudely interrupted? Oh, yeah, I was just gonna ask if you wanted to go to the beach with me next weekend. I'd love to. <laughs> oh, wasn't there something you were going to say to me? Um, I don't remember. Get knocked the fuck out, I'll do that to you. <laughs>